Hello, uniquely creative people! Welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Turquoise, and today I'm going to be doing like an unboxing type of video. Uh, my birthday is coming up in three days. However, by the time this video will be up, it will either be the day of my birthday or a couple of days. So, and so I got myself a couple of things. This unbox will be birthday. Christmas slash New Year's, my own New Year's resolution gift for doing so well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, a few of these I won't be able to get links because they are collector items. I will do my best to find links to them, but I cannot make any promises and I brought something. Okay, I'm back. I got the one item, and I do have something in here that is a gift, so I won't be showing that. Just in case my friend does see, watch these videos, just to be safe and sorry. So, without further ado, I'm gonna start with the birthday ones. They're all in bags, except for the one item. And I'm just taking the price tag off. I got myself some tarot cards. Now, I've been collecting tarot cards for at least two years now. These were on the clearance section in Indigo, so I don't know if they still have any. Because normally when something is on clearance, where I am anyways, they don't normally get them back. But I will leave a link to Amazon for sure with a whole lack of tarot cards, so maybe that's where you can find these guys. So I'm really looking forward, to, looking forward to these. I love looking at the pictures of tarot cards because I find them so inspirational for being creative in that. And this is where I get some of my ideas for some of my stories. I look at the pictures of tarot cards. So that's what I will be checking out. Yeah, we'll go with Nerfle's bag because it was also part of my birthday gift to myself. Uh, my birthday is exactly 12 days before Christmas, and I tend not to buy. I tend not to buy anything during the month of December, knowing that these two things, when not only my birthday but also Christmas is coming up. However, um. Normally my birthday I'm fairly safe with. Uh, Christmas is a little bit more of a gamble on my end if I try to buy something for myself. But most of the time my family don't buy books for me so I know I'm in the safe card there. They just, I always ask them just to get me the essential stuff, the stuff that I absolutely need for Christmas because I would not, I, I don't like the idea of asking them to spend money on entertainment section when there's a possibility that I could easily uh, order it beforehand and it just in the back stock. Either or, I just don't like asking my family to buy me entertainment stuff because they really wouldn't know where to start because I'm very flexible on entertainment stuff. But at the exact same time, I own a lot of books, I own a lot of movies. It's just better off to just ask for the essentials. For me anyway, I don't mind if my family buys me like learning books because then I can learn. But when it comes to like novels and that, I just make things easy for them. And just say not, not to worry about the books because books can be fairly expensive. So, The Ravens is also another book that I got at Kohl's. Sorry, I was starting to read the back. I actually started reading this while I was waiting for my ride back. And I got hooked right away. I have not gone back to it. And I don't have a bookmark because so I lost the page on it. And I will not fold the pages. I'm not that way. I've actually never heard of this author. But apparently she is a best-selling author. So I'm not too sure on her other books because she don't have a list on here of her other books but she writes young adult books and she has a coven 
Coven? Coven? Coven. Of which group? And basically, she wrote a young adult book on witches. I'm looking forward to this. I'm rereading this because I only made a chapter, I think, four or five. And it was still quite a good hook. I'm looking forward to finishing this book. Uh, sorry, my cat kind of went through some of my stuff on me. This, actually, that, the Raven's book was totally unexpected. I wasn't even planning on buying that book. But then when I got reading the back, well not the back, the blurb, what it was about, and this I ran the page and the cover, it caught my attention. So that's how I buy books. I go by the cover, title, blurb, and I open to a random page to see if it will catch my attention. This book has also been on my buy list for quite a while. Mexican Gothic. So, I'm looking forward to reading this guy as well. I'm hoping I can find a shelf that can actually fit the size of a book because it. I don't normally have tall books, so a lot of my bookshelves I make. When it comes to making my bookshelves, I normally make them to the height of my tallest books, and they're not very tall. I think they're slightly shorter than this one, like up to here. I'm hoping I have a shelf that can actually fit this. I'm about to find out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I will be doing a like a book tour soon. It's on the works. It's just that I got now a fourth bookshelf on the go. So it just makes things really, really hard. This was another book. You'll recognize this from the Author 2 Virtual Retreat. Uh, the Vanishing Half. This book has also been on my TBR and to buy as well. Uh, what really caught my attention was Jenna Morosny because she, she got talking about this book. Another book that is on my buy list, which I won't be buying until 2021, is Shattered. Uh, she is an indie author and I'm also going to be trying to buy more indie books to support the indie authors. All these books that I have are traditionally published, I believe, unless the one series is an indie author from a local area. That'll be... No, I think she's traditionally published. I think, I think, I think. I'm not too sure. Nice. I am looking forward to reading this. As well, this has also been on my TBR for quite some time. The chapter page and the whole blank page, which I don't really like when they do this because I find it a waste of paper. But I'm sure there's a reason for this style. I'll find out when I read it. And it's another tall book. So this book is part of the Twilight series I'm reading. I was debating on buying this one for the longest time because it is her newest book and I have not been hearing positive reviews on it. However, because I am rereading re the Twilight Saga by Stephanie Mayer, I am curious on how well she did her fixing of errors with racism. So I got Midnight Sun and this book is actually thicker than Twilight. So I don't know. This is in Edward's point of view um, from book one but clearly there's added stuff to this. So I don't know how far back this goes before uh, Bella and him basically into, get into the exact same building. So I'm kind of curious on how she done this, but at the exact same time I'm not having high expectations on this. Uh, for the reviews on Kohl's, they do have a lot of four stars I believe. Uh, saying that this book is pretty good. However, if you check out author two, not author two, book two that have read this book, 
Um, I have to give an author tube too because there are some of them that I actually talk about this. I've heard at least five bad reviews on this and I think one, maybe two or three of them did not finish the book because there was no story, no new story from book one. Um, I'm hoping at some point in time that this story actually goes into book two. Because it would be interesting to see Edward's point of view from book two. Because from this book. It would have been more interesting. It would be interesting to hear his side of the story and to see what ha what he was exactly doing after the breakup. Because I'm not buying the fact that he just track or try to track. Not buying that 100%. I think he was doing more things than just track. <clears throat> then I'm hoping that that's where this book leads to. If not, um, we'll find out when I start reading this. I'm hoping to have find this book in audio so this way it makes the process so much faster. How many chapters does this book have? I'm just curious on the chapter amount. Okay, so there's an epilogue. Does that mean there's a prologue too? Because sometimes they do that. So 29 chapters, so 30, sure. So basically 30 chapters. Oh, and she did a contents too. And that's nice. So 30 chapters, so that is actually 6 chapters more than Twilight, so I'm about to find out. Um, I won't find out right away, I'm still on book 2. So we'll see what happens. I'm definitely be giving a book review on this when I get to it. So that's Basically all my birthday stuff that I bought for myself for my birthday. I do have a gift from my friend. However, he did tell me that is a Christmas gift. And I'm not going to open it until Christmas Day. Because I promised him I would not. So the next thing is I already own book 1 and 2. Which I'm just going to show you guys. But I got the rest of this series as well. The, the Dor Daura series I believe is how you pronounce it. So book one is The Wayside, book two is Bloodline. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, A.A. A. Gor Gordon is a local author in my area, so the pharmacy and the Coles and Owen Sound are supporting her. Uh, she life. She is not a local author anymore, however she used to live in this area, unless she has moved back, but she's in the, in the Toronto area, so she is a Canadian author, and looks like she's gone the traditional publishing route. So this is book one, book two, I'll leave a link to the Amazon account, not account, Amazon, that, or to the Amazon to where to find them. And the other book from this series. Now I don't know if this series is completed because I have not gone random all. So here is book three. Uh, the Redemption. Redemption Atonement. I think that's how you pronounce that. I actually like the blue and the purple cover. The red's not bad. I'm not too sure why her covers are flowers when it's a fantasy book. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, now I see. Okay, so Redemption is like the sequel of this one. But it's still part of the... the Dalra series. So the actual title is The Atonement. I think is how you pronounce it. 
Uh, she tends to write, the first two actually sound like romance, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was a romance. In book four of the Dawa series is Absolution. I don't mind the green and the blue, however it's the exact same cover. So that's not really creative, but okay. It is not yet the exact same cover. Only difference is one deals with werewolves and one deals with the vampires. Werewolves, vampires. Okay, so I'm guessing the reason why the covers are the same is that one, because it sounds like there's twins involved here. I just quickly read the back. So I'm guessing the blue ones in one twin's point of view, while the green ones in another twin's point of view, why the flowers are the exact same thing. It's the only thing I could think of. I will have to read them to find out. And then book five is also part of the Dora series, but it's also don't have the redemption. Like book three and four have, which is interesting. So I'm wondering if it's like a prequel or like something that happens after. Anyways, this one is called Wolf Ban. So this will be interesting to read as well. It's actually the thickest one out of all of them too. So I'll leave a link to all of them. I don't know if she has a book six out yet. Um, I'll have to check Amazon on that one. If she does, I will be ordering it because, like I said, she is a local author and I would like to support her. I actually like the font size in this, too. I just don't like it when there's that blank page right there. And I get that with all the chapters. And it is also in multiple point of view. Yeah, it's with all of it. So, there, I already counted three point of views in one chapter, so... I don't know how I really feel about that. So I'm used to reading point of view changing per chapter. Like, one chapter be one point of view, and another chapter be another point of view. That's what I'm used to reading, so I'm about to find out how I feel about this. Yeah, that is roughly all my Christmas stuff. Actually, not quite. Yeah. This is the last of the Christmas stuff that I bought for myself. So, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So, I got myself some collector's items from that. I got a dice set. A Yahtzee Nightmare Before Christmas Edition, which I cannot wait to play. I do play all my board games. This is I normally play by myself, so I know that kind of sounds on the sad end, but yeah, I'm used to playing board games by myself. I have some friends that do come over every once in a while. We do play board games every once in a while, but we just tend to chit chat and watch movies. Anyways, and there's also this square, which I can never solve. I just make the puzzle a lot worse than normal. Another one is Harry Potter. This is a strategy board game. I like strategy board games. I like magic. Um, I know with J.K. Rowland, there is a lot of... Uh, situation going on. Now whether that got resolved by now maybe um, that her Harry Potter books are not uh, some people can't get past what she has said about the LGBTQ and I think that was the only thing I have to update myself on that situation I have not heard anything for quite a while so yeah, so 
I do like Harry Potter. However, I do do see the red flags in the story because it's not my first time going around reading that. However, I'm still trying to finish that book. I have not gone back to it yet. Anyways, I do love strategy games. I love magic. So, despite it being Harry Potter, my friends and I do like playing this kind of game. For sure, me. And we all like Harry Potter. My friends are probably a little bit more of a Harry Potter fan than what I am. However, I also do like Harry Potter as well. And I'm going to have to call you and I'm going to have to come back to this. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I knew you pet store just let me know that my stuff was in. So yeah. I will see if I can leave a link to all these collector's items. I don't know if I can or not, but I will let you know if I can. So, okay, that's the game. That's the gift. So, as a yearly gift to myself for this year, despite COVID and that, um, to be able to save quite a bit for, uh, for doing so well on, on my book and budget wise I decided to get myself a something else as well now I kind of did spend a lot on myself but I didn't really spend a whole lot on myself this year I also treat to myself I will also get myself a yearly gift to be able to live on my own next year in January we'll see what that is because I'm gonna get myself one big item but <laughs> I kind of got my big item right now. Uh, it chapter 2. Apparently this is the um, movie 2 of It. Of the new one in the ways. I haven't watched the classic or any of the other new It either. However, I heard this is part of a series that they were going to make. But then decided not to. They decided to put it into a two part movie. So I'm quite curious on that. And the last, well, second last item, the other one is, I'm pretty sure I know what it is because I ordered it a while ago and it's for my skin because I do have sensitive skin. Uh, for my, also your gift to myself is Monopoly, the Nightmare Before Christmas edition. I, like I said, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite movie of all the Walt Disney ones. I like it. I love it. I like the spook. I like the Halloween. I like the dark story in it. And I like that it has a happy ending. And I love the fact there is a message in it. So I got myself this. So I'm looking forward to it. And my box. Now this came from the UK, and the item that I ordered for myself is also from the UK, so this is why I'm fairly confident I know what it is, but I don't know why they put so much tape on this. Paper to wrap breakable items. In here. Okay, this is weird paper. Really weird paper. But it's cool at the exact same time. Okay, it's definitely a box of something. So yes, this is the shampoo that I ordered from the UK because I have sensitive skin. 
And this brand is recommended for anyone with sensitive skin. I got recommended this by a friend. So I'm looking forward to trying this shampoo out. However, I kind of wish the shampoo bottle was a little bit bigger. Because this stuff is really, really hard to find. Um, all the website that I checked that sells this stuff was sold out of the shampoo. Um, the only place that still had it was the U was a UK website, and they only had six left. I'm looking forward to trying this out. I will see if I can find a link to this on Amazon. But I definitely recommend... Um, I do, I'll give this stuff a try and let you guys know what I think of it as soon as I can. But yeah, that's... And that's my unboxing. Uh, this was a unboxing for my birthday, dash Christmas, and New Year's. Normally, I don't buy myself stuff for my birthday. Um, this year I thought to try something different. And it's kind of my way of celebrating my own birthday. Kind of thing. If that makes sense. Uh, there will be a live stream on December 13th. I will be a read with me story, but I just don't know what time. So... Stay tuned for that one, and thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to get notified of all my posts because I post videos Wednesday, Thursday, every other Friday, and possibly Saturday. Um, I do live streams every single day, that is a trial run, and I upload bonus videos every single day, so click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Click the like button, leave a comment down below, follow me and message me on if you wish to be a co-host on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and Discord. Come join the creative server, di creative server Discord group. Get to meet new people, be creative, be yourself, learn new things, and there is an update for that ch group soon, so come check it out. Links are down below. Look, click the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember... Stay true to yourself and stay unique. Bye.